Hi guys, this is Ibrahim Khalil from my channel IK Sub BD of doing oil. In this tutorial, I will show you how to search data from SQL database using button in ASP.NET C -shirt. Guys, if you do not subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel. Let's go to a start. Guys, here you see I already created a project and in my previous project how to insert save data in SQL server if you do not watch please watch my previous video I will give you the link in description so now I will repeat previous project for you first of all for database connectivity in web config I wrote this connection string tab name PPL CN string this one connection string name if you want if you give any name then connection string is equal to data source this one server name and this one is this server name and initial catalog this one database name user ID SA and password SA123 which one my database password if you want your password is give here provider name integrated security is equal to true and provider name is equal to system dot data dot sql client and then i create a class which name cls main and write here for connection string public string cn string and public sql connection gbl icon sql connection public sql command gbl sql cmd is equal to new sql command and I also added a form which name home in home form code page I write this one as BCLS just call class and write page load event for connection string just define PPL CN string which one I create here and also I create a class insert update for save data class means I use this class any form in my project and also I create another class which name is data exist if data exist or not for checking this option and in buttons btn save which one my button name click event I wrote insert query if you watch already if you know if you write this query in simple then data will be saved but here I also check if data exist or not if data not exist then execute this query else this ID is already exist so now I am going to show you how to search data from SQL database I am going to class for search data I need another public variable which one I just paste here for time being and I also create another class to get data and here you see public void to get data string query for retrieve and this one like here gbl con dot open database connection open and then query for retrieve and gbl rdr to get data is equal to execute reader and here you also see when I created data exists then executed reader but when I create for insert update then execute not query so here you see I just create a class for search now I am going to home page and just click here for write coding now here I am going to write code for save search data so I also here check 
if data is exist or not here i showed you if one then execute the search query so i'm going to write as cls dot to get data and then select query and like that so query this one semicolon if to get data select all from emp info which one my table name and id is the field and if then another if if as b cls dot gbl reader dot read because i read data from database then and now if data read then i will show you in text box data i keep id in this field and click search button then name designation salary and id will be show here so now i am writing code txt employee id dot text is equal to sb cls dot zbl get data and then third bracket and give here the database field which one id and to string then sorry to string then first bracket and then semicolon so this line i wrote for only id but here i have another three field name designation and salary so i just copy and then paste then here then here i change txt employee name and here the database name is name and then txt designation then database name is also designation and then txt salary then database field name is salary so if data read then data will be shown in text box employee id txt employee name txt designation and txt salary if not then is lbl message dot visible is equal to true and then just copy yeah I just get here right here no R E S U R T no result F O U found. So guys here I wrote query. First of all I check data exists or not. If data exists then execute this query which one I write for search data and if data is not found then message will be appear no result found. So guys First of all, I write here to get data. 
class and you are, I already inform you another clause I wrote my previous project which is that I exist and also I write a another public SQL data reader GBL RDR to get data and which one I used here you see so let's go to a start run project okay guys the project is already done so now I'm going to show you the result if I enter here one and then click search then ID's name designation and salary will be shows here so I just click search and here you see the employee name designation and salary appear, will appear here and if I want to and then search then sense and if I enter 10 and then search no result found but here shows the previous data and that's why if you want you just write this one is equal to blank and then sorry not this one this one and then designation and then salary is equal to plan so let's go to run okay I just keep 10 and uh, sorry first of all I keep 1 and then search data will shown because data in database if you want here select select all from EMP info and then you see the two data is here so I'm going to show you the result and then I'm going to change and then start no result found and no data is shown here so guys in this tutorial I showed you how to search data from database using button in ASP.NET and I just repeat again I wrote connection string for database connection and in class I wrote this for connection string not this line only these three lines and then in form code even I just wrote this one for connection string and for load event write this one for connection string and then in class I create a class this one for save and this one for checking data in database or not data exist or not and today's project I create another project to get data and also I create a public SQL data reader ZBL RDR to get data and then create a class and in button search button click event I just wrote first of all LBL message dot BGL false and then string select query then write query for data exist or not this one sorry this one for save I just that I this one for save which one I showed you in my previous project if data is equal to zero then execute insert query otherwise message will be shown this ID is already exist and to this project I showed here right here data exist or not if data is exist then execute the search query another time and if data is not exist then message will be shown 
plan text name text designation and text salary and the label message shown no result found so guys this is the tutorial for how to search data from sql server using button if you like this video please like share and if you do not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channels bye for now